What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls Online and I wanted to show you guys my progress in the game and the dilemmas that I've been running into lately. And if you guys have any advice, feel free to put it in the comment section below. I love to hear what you guys say. I read every single comment that you guys leave. So even if I don't reply to them or don't, you know, like the post or something like that, I'm reading them, I'm seeing what you're saying and uh, I appreciate every single comment that you guys leave. All right, so the dilemma that I've been running into lately, and I think I might have it figured out, uh, might is the big word here, is the difference between PvP builds and PvE builds. Uh, naturally, whenever you're talking about PvP, you want to go with like bursty builds because any good PvPer knows that uh, burst is usually what is king in PvP. Uh, you want to be able to like knock somebody down with lesser attacks or something and then once they're about half health or something like that You go ahead and go burst boom try to blow them up at that point If you can blow somebody up from full health the dead then most likely the game is completely not balanced at all uh, There should be some strategy to it and it seems like in this game You can't really do that unless somebody is severely undergeared which you know if you watched me fighting in Cyrodiil and my live stream that I did like last week you'll see that I was severely undergeared and I was getting one shotted by everybody but that isn't usually the case for in-game players and I'm at that point right now that I'm ready to start taking that on to where I put on the right gear I farm the right gear in order to get in the best position that I can and uh, make it work from there all right so the dilemma that I was really in is uh, my gear right now is just like filling gear because I just recently hit 160 champion point level. Uh, so I haven't farmed anything, especially I'm not farming until I decide exactly what gear I'm going, going to go for. And the, the gear that I have on right now is just filler. But what I'm needing is a good PvE set. So... In order to achieve all the bonuses that you want for PvE, you got to use two one-handed weapons. That allows you to have enough items on your character where you can achieve the two five-set bonuses. If you look at this piece of gear here, uh, you'll see that if I have five items, it adds uh, a lot of weapon damage as well as a set bonus that you know does some ability or something else. And if you have like a a DPS uh, set bonus for your five item uh, bonus there then it'll help your DPS quite a bit uh, that's what I'm hoping to achieve once I you know start farming gear but if you have two one-handed weapons you can achieve two of these five set bonuses and then you can also do a two set bonus which is usually the monster set which will be a, a headpiece and a shoulder piece that you can get from dungeons and um, of course like undaunted and all that um, so that's the goal two five set bonuses and then the monster set bonus well you can't achieve that if you're going to use a two-handed weapon which is really good in PvP and so you end up having to make the choice between uh, do you want to use two one-handed weapons and be a little uh, be less bursty in PvP or do you want to use a two-handed weapon and not have all the set bonuses as well as not not as much sustain as the two one-handed weapons and be a little less efficient in pve it it's like a dagger either either way you go it's you don't know which way you're going to get cut and it so what i ended up doing is i i decided that i'm going to try to spread my skill points uh pretty thin uh, if we look at uh, my skill trees here, you will see that there are four skill lines that I'm thinking about going into, and that's going to take a lot of skill points. I probably don't have enough skill points now. I'm probably going to have to go out and quest more, going to have to find some sky shards, going to have to try to do anything I can in order to get more skill points, because in PvP, I will want two-handed weapon for the burst, and then also... Uh, probably sword and shield like one hand and shield here uh, that way I can do high burst DPS whenever I'm in and then whenever the uh, times get bad I want to be able to run away and throw up all the defensive buffs that I need to uh, put on my sword and shield and try to run away um, 
because you know any good PvPer will uh, try to gauge the ebb and flow of combat. Uh, you go in, you strike while the iron's hot, but you get out whenever it's time to get out. It, all the time I see whenever I'm fighting in Cyrodiil that we'll start to overwhelm the other team and you'll see somebody that is fighting one of our team guys and he'll turn around realizing that things are going to get really bad and he's about to get overwhelmed. He'll take off running and he'll start healing himself, throwing up buffs, uh, defensive buffs, throwing up speed buff, everything he needs to. And, and you'll see him mounted up and riding over the hillside over there because he got away. He had the right build in order to get out whenever times are bad. I would like to be able to do that. Uh, you know, dying every time that you get overwhelmed or t uh, things are getting a little bit bad is not usually the best option for being a good PvPer. And in anything I do, I try to be the best player in the game. That's next to impossible, but that's what I'm striving to do. Uh, whenever I do uh, PvP, I want to run the right gear, the right skills, um, you know, whatever I need to in order to be as efficient as I can in PvP and have all the the bonuses, the anything I need in order to get a little more of an edge. Well, it's the same thing if I go into PvE. If I decide to play PvE in a game, I want to be the best that I can be. Uh, I did in-game rating in WoW. I did, you know, I did, uh, which was heroic rating. I did, I was like, one of the best, if not the best, demonologist in Age of Conan, which was amazing rating. Uh, I was like in the number one guild and all that stuff. So I, I have a, a lot of PvE experience and I don't want to play it as a mediocre player. I don't want to just be able to do like normal dungeons or else a vet dungeon every here and there. I want to be at the top of the line, play as well as I can. And in order to do that, I've got to have all the set bonuses that's going to uh, provide me that edge in order to put out the best DPS or whatever else I'm going to be doing in PvE situations. So, yeah, I got to have the right gear. But another thing is that I ran into is like morphing abilities. Take for instance, if I go to morph this, the, the top morph might be really good for PvE and the bottom one might be very good for PvP. Uh, I think I've kind of got that settled out now because anything that I'm going to morph in like two-hander, I know it's going to be only for PvP. So I'll just morph it to the PvP version. Don't have to worry about the PvE version. Um, if I do something in uh, dual wield, I know it's going to be uh, for PvE, so I can morph everything into the PvE version. I got to reset all my skills here and redo it all because this was all for leveling up how I had it now. Uh, yeah, everything's pretty chaotic laid out. My gear, my skills, everything is chaos because I was just leveling up and replacing things as needed or else skilling up skills, and that's the only goal was. Um, so yeah, that, that's the dilemmas that I've been running into. What exactly I want to do. I mean, if you guys have any advice like uh, what gear sets I should go with. I've been trying to look up guides on what all to build. I've seen that uh, like for, take for instance, uh, a PVE uh, stamina DK for DPS. I could go with like hunting armor, springing jewelry, you know, stuff like that. I've been looking up those types. Uh, but if you guys are like pros at this game, I would love to hear your advice on it. Uh, tell me if I'm e ever going to have the skill points in order to do all four lines and be able to do all that that I'm wanting to do. I don't know if I will. I'm going to try it out and we might have to reset everything. I would just hate to farm all this gear and then turn around and find out that I can't do all, you know, like two sets of gear whenever I find out that I can't use dual wield and two-handed or something like that you know uh, of course bow is needed because in pve builds uh you got to be able to use like endless volley for another dot um yeah the, you basically need all four of these lines and that that makes things really hard i hope i can do it well we'll see but i know that i want to compete at the highest level if i'm going to play this game Another thing that I've been uh, contemplating is I know in werewolf form apparently it's a like a high burst situation um, So if you turn into a werewolf, you might be able to burst people down 
and uh, you got the increased armor and everything else that goes with that. Well, do I want to do that in PvP? If if I do that in PvP, that would make it to where I could probably, uh, you know, use that as my burst ability. I can go in with like more of a sustained build in order to knock people down, and then once they're like half health. I can turn into a werewolf and try to burst them down the rest of the way. And that will also make it to where I change around my skill sets, you know, a, a huge amount. I won't have to have all the, the skills that I, I have in my mind that I'm wanting to get. Um, I'm not too sure how efficient that is, though. I've seen some of the guides saying that you can use werewolf form, but they really doesn't, don't touch on it very much. They, they basically say, yeah, it's an option, but here's the build that we're talking about, though. And it's like okay you know do do i want to use werewolf as my burst i don't know that would mean that i wouldn't have to possibly use two hand uh two handed weapon might be an option not sure what are your guys' thoughts any pros at this game please leave comments in the comment section below tell me what gear i need to have for pvp what gear that you guys recommend for pve uh, what skill sets, uh, set should I use? I mean, whatever you guys can provide, I will be very grateful. I'm already looking up like a lot of guides and stuff like, uh, uh, let's see here. What's the guides that I'm looking up? Um, okay. So I looked up like, uh, the guy that Alcast uh, put up. Uh, there's also another one. Um, there was like a two-hander uh, PVE build that I looked up, as well as, what is it, uh, Detalia or something like that. You know, he's a very big uh, ESO YouTuber. I looked up the build that he had on his website. So those are the things I'm mainly looking at. Um, so any advice, I would appreciate it, guys. As usual, my name is Grim. And I'm very undecided these days. All right. I'll see you next time.